Sometimes silence is my only answer because the pain is too much to speak out loud. Advice from Jay. Yeah. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe. Welcome back to all my day ones, my return subscribers. Welcome if you're new here. We're going to get right into it. So I'm not happy today. Obviously, you could tell by my mood. I'm pretty pissed off. But I have to make this fucking video. So let's make it. I noticed in my entire journey making this advice from Jay, learning how to paint everything. I've had so many obstacles in my way. You would think I'm on a fucking game show. I'm going to tell you some of these obstacles, and this might trigger some people, but I keep it real over here. Some of these obstacles that I've experienced in my life are financial burdens, worries, stress. I'm going through that right now. I don't have the most money in the world, man. I didn't say I was a fucking millionaire or anything, man. I go through it too. I'm just doing the best I can with what I have. Obstacle number two. I've had multiple people keep my child, my daughter away from me. It hurts. It always hurts. But I learned in the end... I'm not going to let somebody constantly treat me like shit and use a child to their advantage to manipulate my emotions and any actions that I perform. I have to deal with things mentally a lot. A lot of the times I don't know if I can keep going. I deal with that thought a lot. I don't know if I can keep doing this. I mentioned that, not the other word. You can figure it out because my life is tough, man. There's people with tougher lives than me, worse. But mentally, you know, when you don't have no parents, you don't got nobody motivating you. And just sometimes stranger support from here and there, it's it's hard to be your own support. I've had zero people in my family buy any of my paintings or support any of my business. They've requested more paintings and shit that I've given out for free, but ain't no money coming out the pocket or nothing. Fuck my time, right? I've dealt with having to go to the shelter. I've dealt with having to go to the food pantry multiple times. That includes going to the food bank and picking up food with a backpack on, no car, and walk a distance and then travel back with those perishable items <laughs> all the way back to my apartment. In hopes that they haven't gone bad or whatever. I remember standing in soup kitchen lines. This was months ago, so it's recent. Standing in soup kitchen lines. Having to get food for my meals. But the whole time, I kept being broke because I, I keep paying down my bills. It sucks. I feel like I'm in hell. But I don't owe rent anymore. So check box one. Some other obstacles you'll go through, man. You're going to have these haters, man. You, you know, there's these haters out there. They they, they, they want to see you like how I am right now. They want to see you miserable. They don't want to see you hype in your video. They don't want you to make it. And they don't want you to make it because I always tell you people, you're a mirror. 
And when people see a mirror in front of them, it's a reflection of themselves. If you happen to be doing better than them, well, what does that reflect? What they should be doing with themselves, right? I made this video about obstacles because I noticed in my life as things are getting way more difficult as today. I have run out of funds. If you'd like to donate, the cash app is uh, in the description below. I've run out of food. But what I haven't run out of is motivation. I can't quit. I want to quit. You know, I got to fight every day to get up out my bed and not lay there all day. I got to fight that feeling of worthlessness. I got to find meaning out here. I miss the military. I had a structure, I had routine, I was doing better with my money, I had a uniform on, I had a purpose, my purpose was a defender of the motherfucking United States of America. And then to come out of that environment and to come back to, you know, working at a casino, sweeping up a floor and then someone throws a fucking chocolate bar wrapper or some bullshit in front of me. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Wow. Wow. There's a lot of people here who just look at me like I ain't shit. Uh, little do these people know I put a lot of work in for this fucking country. And so did my brothers and sisters. And then we come back home to be treated like nothing. Like we weren't even important. This is the life of a veteran. We struggle a lot. I met some veterans who smoke, 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 smoke. Yeah. Drink, 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 drink. We're going to get a little bit deeper here. So if you're triggered by uh, certain words, be careful. You know, I've met many soldiers, ex-soldiers. They took their own lives. I got to live with that shit every day. The individual who took his life in the military while I served and the multiple people who took their lives when I got out that I met. And sometimes I get scared because I'm like, am am I going to be next because all this stress keeps hitting me and, and as hard as that feeling is to fight, to not perform those actions. I got to keep my mind busy. I got to keep, you know, doing stuff. A lot of, a lot of men out here won't keep it real. They'll call me soft or whatever. You're in your feelings. But to talk about your feelings is better than balling them up. Because if I keep balling this up, man, it's going to destroy me. I... Always think sometimes what would life be like if certain people were around or whatever. And then other times I think about my own choices in life. How maybe I could have made them different if I had better influences. Yeah. I hope if my my child ever sees this one day, my only daughter, I do feel like a failure. I know I'm young, but I, that's hard for me to talk about. I'm losing it here on my channel, am I? (laughs) But I get a little emotional because I've just been attacked so much. My, my goal was to never disrespect anybody or any of that. My goal was just to motivate people. And a lot of these haters know that. So they want to make me feel terrible. Sometimes silence is my only answer because 
the pain is too much to speak out loud. And I know a lot of you can relate to that line. So, you know, all I could ever think about every day, I was over here looking at my old army bag and everything, just sitting down, and I was like, damn, how the fuck did I get here, man? I remember leaving high school, telling everybody I'm going to be a fucking drill sergeant, you know. I only needed two more ranks to be a drill sergeant. I was already an E4, so. But, you know, after certain situations arised, I threw in the towel. I always think back, damn, what if I would have just stayed in, man? I wish I would have stayed in. Probably be a better outcome than now. Maybe advice from Jay wouldn't exist. But I realized, too, I can't be that person. You know, I wish, I wish I would have, I wish I would have. I can't change the past. But my future ain't looking too bright because of all the bullshit I had to deal with back then. But uh, I would love if somebody would support me, man. I'm not begging on I'm not begging here for no money or nothing. If you feel it in your heart, thank you. But uh I'm just letting you guys know my life. A little bit about it. I haven't been uploaded because I've been dealing with a lot of stressful situations, you know. You got some people there's just some people out there they can't take no for an answer. If you want them, if you tell them to leave you alone, they send court paperwork to your house. If you tell them to leave you alone, they send family members to your house. If you tell them to leave you alone, they call a the cop. They just won't leave you alone. You know, sounds like I have a stalker on my hands, right? So it's just gotten to a point where I'm uncomfortable to upload sometimes because maybe the location I'm in or, you know, whatever. And I'm just tired of people keep throwing curveballs at me, man. Curveball, curveball, obstacle, obstacle, hurdle, hurdle. It's, I, I had to make this video because, yo, advice from Jay isn't always perfect, guys. I go through shit. I go through obstacles. I'm going through obstacle right now. I need that cash. <laughs> I mean, if I can somehow, you know, put my body in a ketosis state for two straight weeks with no money, well, we'll see. A lot of people, how come you don't get food stamps or this or that? Well, I'm not low income. And then a lot of people want to comment after that. Well, if you're not low income and blah, 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 well, why are you going through this situation? Well, I'm going through this situation because, see, <laughs> you will. My fault, I'm looking outside. I'm going through this situation because I have to pay down bills, man. See, when you have shit going on mentally, sometimes you'll mess up a calculation or sometimes you'll mess this up. Or, you know, I'm basically paying off my depression from the past many years. So that's what I'm paying off. My own doing. I could sit here and blame this person for making me feel that way to make that decision. But at the end of the day, I made the decision. I got to pay it off. At least I paid off rent. If you do donate, thank you. You help me out. If you don't donate, well, hey, you know, hit the like. Maybe somebody else will get the video and at least relate. But um, that's all I got today. I just wanted to keep it absolutely real. If you guys can hear it in my voice, I'm I'm drained, man. I'm I'm depleted. I, I'm starting just not to care anymore again. And this is what I go through, man. Now, I know a lot of haters are loving this video right now. Ha ha ha, we did it. You know, he's not doing them anymore. No, I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to keep going. I'm just... I need a break for a while, man. Maybe, maybe that break might be... I don't know how long. And I'm not where I want to be in my life. I don't have the education I want. I have the skill trader education, quote, quote, because I'm a veteran. But at the end of the day, 
you know, I need a degree or something because I, I don't want to live in an apartment complex in the hood for the rest of my life. You know, that's why I told people you can make it out the hood. And even though I'm still in the hood now, the reason why I was able to make that video is because I did make it out the hood. I was gone for a few years and then came back to the hood. I wish I would have never came back here. You know, but you can make it out, man. I, I just need you guys to motivate me sometimes, man. I'm over here always motivate, motivate, man. I need some motivation, man. You know, shout out Sister Sloth. She wrote me a nice comment. You know, thank you. But it's it's just hard for me. I don't I don't hear that a lot. I don't hear I'm proud of you. I don't hear um wow, this is this is congratulations or this is dope. I don't I don't hear that a lot, man. You know, especially from people that I wish I could hear it from. But that's as real as these get, man. I kept it real with y'all. Now, uh, what I'm going to go do, I'm going to try to sell my TV. I'm going to try to sell some item to make some money. That's what I do. When I don't have no other options left to go, sell the TV, sell, you know, nobody wants to buy paintings. And that's where I put all my money into. And it's, it's just, I hope some big dude or whoever's person's watching this video, CEO, man, let's give this guy a chance, you know. I'm trying not to lose hope. But I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> but stay motivated. I know I sound like a hypocrite, but I'm still going to try to stay motivated. I'm, you know, I got to stay motivated. But stay motivated to do the things that you said you were going to do. Stay determined. I'm determined to get 2,000 subscribers. So if you want to subscribe, go ahead. I'm not going to ask no more. And, uh, you know, uh, stay out those jail cells. Because the same things that you would do illegally, you can do legally. So don't commit no crime. Uh, lastly, if you're new here, I always yell knowledge to the top of my lungs because I truly believe that knowledge is power and it can save your life one day. So be a sponge and soak up all the knowledge you can. Um, yeah, y'all hear that, man? Y'all hear that, man? Alright. Yeah, fucking knowledge, man. Goodbye, everyone.